I will now call everyone to order and ask that you please rise as Andrew Gross and Marquise Thomas come up and lead us in the play. Dr. Shaw Roll. As the school year comes to a close, we have so much to celebrate. We have the graduating class of 2018 standing here before you because of their hard work, commitment, and amazing resilience. Each of these graduates has had to work hard to overcome obstacles. However, they did exactly that. They overcame these obstacles to earn their high school diploma. The human emotions that most, that most of us experience when dealing with adversity are often feelings of anger, sadness, or discouragement. <clears throat> At times, these emotions can almost seem too difficult to overcome. However, Frank Clark once said, if you find a pathway with no obstacles, the path probably doesn't lead anywhere. With that said, I want each graduate to know that your path has been completed here, and I am certain you've crossed these obstacles to lead to new and exciting beginnings. Don't ever, for a moment, sell yourself short. <sighs> Don't ever let anybody tell you that you cannot achieve something because you can and you will. And I have had the great honor to know each and every graduate personally. I wish I had the time to highlight each of you, but the testimonials in our program will do just that. Each of you are very special to me and I could not be any prouder than I am at this moment. I have learned things from many of you that I hope will help me become a better leader because through the path that I have walked with you, I have learned much standing by your side. Some of you gave us a run for our money, but we never gave up on you, and obviously, you never gave up on yourself. I like to say Cross Creek is a little hidden gem, and you are all the treasures within these walls. These treasures that I know are capable to go out and be the positive change the world so badly needs. I watch the kindness and love you share for each other. I watch how you all have an unspoken bond between you. I think this is because although you have all had different experiences, each of you know what it's like to get up every day and march uphill. And today is proof that perseverance pays. I hope that each of you, along with your families, take this special moment to celebrate. It is a day of new beginnings. It is a time to move forward and reach for the next goal. If I have taught you nothing else during your time here at Cross Creek, I hope I can leave you with one thing, and that is to never lose faith in yourself. When you believe in yourself, all things are possible. I am so proud of each of you, and look forward to seeing you embark on the next chapter of your life. And at this time, I would like to now welcome to the podium, Mrs. Judd, our assistant principal. Good afternoon, good morning. <laughs> Student testimonials are a long-standing tradition, highlighting an individual's accomplishments. Each graduate has selected a staff member to speak on their behalf regarding their high school experiences. At this time, I would like to introduce our first testimonial, Raekwon Clayton and Mrs. Hogan. Tears of joy. I try to let it go 
and a time for discovering hopes and dreams that you have yet unborn. A time to say goodbye to yesterdays and a time for great tomorrows. With courage, a time for loving hearts together and a time to celebrate all that you will become. I'm so proud of you and I'm so proud that you will be um, owning yourself and you will see the diploma. I love you. Congratulations. wanted me to speak for him at graduation, I felt honored and challenged. <laughs> I was honored because he and I have had a very interesting ride over the last few years. I knew from the moment that he walked through my door for the first time with his briefcase in hand, <laughs> well-groomed from head to toe with a collared shirt and slacks, looking like somebody's substitute teacher, <laughs> that we were going to have a very interesting time. And we definitely have had our battles, very, very huge battles, but sometimes he threw shade and sometimes I threw it back, but we got through the battles and here we are. He and I call it riding the ups. He knows what that means. <laughs> It was also a challenge because how do you speak about Dennis and contain it to two minutes? <laughs> For those of you who know him, you understand what my dilemma is. <laughs> so I started to brainstorm about Dennis and then that, that storm turned into a hurricane of words. And I said, okay, I'm going to let the words do the talking. So I'm going to share just a very short list with you just a small portion of my list. And it's going to sound like I'm describing a superhero, but hey, this is Dennis, okay? <laughs> Here we go. Dennis is amusing, ambitious, clever, inventive, persistent, charming, imaginative, spirited, resourceful, boisterous, candid, dramatic, <laughs> talented, Motivated, interesting, outspoken, enterprising, and saucy. <laughs> but there are two words that I think wrap all of those words up perfectly, and they are something else. <laughs> Dennis is definitely something else, and in a good way. <laughs> those of you who know him understand what I mean when I say that. <clears throat> so I hope that when he's out here living a fabulous and successful life, that he uses his superpowers for good because may God help us if he does not. <laughs> he is truly a person that has brought some very interesting times to Cross Creek. And I can say personally that I've enjoyed being his teacher. And as the math teacher, I think I can put a number on it. I can say about 
89.5% of the time we got along, and then the rest of the time we had to agree to disagree. That's what we'll call it. No one will ever be able to fill this young man's shoes, and he will truly be missed at Cross Creek, and I will miss you there. <laughs> Joey, welcome to my life. <laughs> Mrs. Kelly, Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to try not to get emotional. <laughs> 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 um, I have known Andrew since he was 11 years old. He has gone through many ups and downs. When he was younger, he didn't always make the best choices. <laughs> However, he has developed into a mature young man, making decisions that led to positive outcomes. With maturity, Andrew has learned to use more effective coping skills, and he can still be a little bit of a nudge. That's, you know, for, my, for my Jewish friends, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but he's come a long way. Um, sorry. Andrew is a full-time student. He's working part-time while maintaining his grades and staying out of trouble. He's moved up, up the level system to the independent level, which is, is an illustration of his future. Andrew's both persistent and be, has become a master of negotiation. <laughs> for those of you that know him, you know what I mean by that. He doesn't take no for an answer. Andrew plans to attend Broward College in the fall while working, and I'm sure he will excel in the college atmosphere. Andrew has learned how to ask for help and advocate for himself. He is the super advocate. He has grown up to be a very responsible young man. He has proven that he's ready to take on adulthood and be a productive member of society, which is all we ask for all of our children. Andrew, <clears throat> sorry, you're graduating today, and you should be so very proud of yourself. This is just one of the many goals that I see you accomplishing in your life. You have all the skills, and you are set. You are set for a bright future. I am so pleased to just be one of the people who get to, gets to witness your awesomeness. Please continue on your amazing journey and make us all proud. <laughs> and, um, She values all things academic. She takes her grades and grade point average very seriously. Daphne has worked so hard to get to this point in her life. This young lady came to us with many struggles. She continued to show others that she's a rising star. Daphne has volunteered at her local library. Again, academia is her thing. She also chose to take online foreign language courses to ensure that she met criteria to attend a college or university. And did I mention she's the class valedictorian? 
And oh yeah, she kicked my you know what, <laughs> playing Uno and took my Uno crown. <laughs> but I'm happy about that. Yeah. <clears throat> Daphne, or Super D, as Mr. Cambridge has called her, has made us so proud. I'm so grateful to have been a part of her life. I feel so special to have been her therapist. <clears throat> Sorry, again. Daphne, the world is yours. Go forward and shine like the star you are. Yeah. Yeah. determined to graduate this year and achieve this goal. Kimon uses determination that helped you achieve your diploma to drive and guide you in future success. Use it to break through any obstacles that come your way. Good luck in your future. Congratulations on graduating. <laughs> you have, I had no doubt you were ready to go into the world and make your mark. 
You have amazed everyone with your hands-on talent and creativity. You have been the star of the school garden, and our therapy is like a garden. A seed was planted that produced such a flourishing crop. It is your job now to take everything you have learned and build a life of success and happiness. And I have no doubt you have learned everything that you could have possibly learned at Cross Creek. I have no doubt you will integrate this knowledge into society. And it has been such a pleasure to work with you. And I'm so proud to say that I know the rest of the staff here at Cross Creek feel the same in exact way. We love you. Congratulations. You finally did it. <laughs> expect to become successful in their life's endeavors. Sometimes, however, we're surprised by the quiet, unassuming individuals who will rise to the shining apex in life and become highly successful. We find Marquise to be an individual who, while acutely troubled by the situations that brought him to our doorstep, refused to give in and made it clear from the beginning that his goal was to overcome his difficulties and succeed and graduate and moving on. Marquise has overcome adversities to exhibit a level of determination that has shown itself in an improvement in his academic achievements from moderate and incomplete to the level of straight A honor roll. <laughs> when experiencing the most difficult of situations, he consistently sought out those who could assist him in overcoming his difficulties. Yeah. He never succumbed to the challenges that he faced and always verbalized his goals to overcome and graduate from high school. Yes. He's always been respectful of his peers yeah. and adults in his yeah. life. Yeah. He's been a role model to those he encounters in his school endeavors. He's been eager to complete his high school education with a goal to continue his education at the collegiate level with a strong interest in the sciences. When asked, he always knew the answer to the one question that matters to any student at Cross Creek or any individual who embarks on life's journey. And Marquise, Marquise that question is, how bad do you want it? <laughs> Marquise, have all the luck and happiness in your, your future can afford. You were <laughs> obstacles in the way, but with motivation and the right support in place, this young lady slowly climbed and sometimes it was painfully step by step. Of course there are times when she felt she couldn't do it. Just waking up and coming to school was overwhelming. Remember that? <laughs> Even on her worst days, Carly never had an unkind word for anyone. She didn't take her anger out on her peers or staff and is one of the very few students at Cross Creek who has never been to timeout or had a single behavior issue in three years. Wow. <laughs> and those of us that work here really appreciate that. 
also known as the Queen of Kindness, she demonstrates patience for her peers and an acceptance of their differences. It's no surprise that Carly is well liked by all. Perhaps the one thing that has had a significant impact on Carly's success is her willingness to trust, listen, and accept help from others. Sometimes I can nag her a little bit at the risk of sounding like a mother, but eventually the results came. Not only has Carly maintained a high GPA, but she has also maintained um, a part-time job, actually a couple of part-time jobs, uh, for the last year and a half. Carly plans to attend Broward College and eventually transfer to Florida Atlantic University where she will live on campus and experience college life. As she finishes this chapter of her life and begins the next, I am confident that many good things are coming to her. My heart swells with pride, but it's time to say goodbye, good luck, and God bless you. Thank you. This next award is actually a district award for Broward County Schools that we wanted to present here today since one of our seniors received it. And it is the Kids of Character Award recognition for a student that displays good character, such as cooperation, responsibility, citizenship, kindness, respect, honesty, self-control, and tolerance. I would like to take this time to recognize the Cross Creeks recipient of the Kids of Character winner by sharing some of the student's shining qualities. There isn't a single character trait that this student does not demonstrate on a daily basis. With the guidance of the student's family and educational professionals, the student has overcome many educational obstacles. The student has been eager to earn his high school diploma. There's a hint, it's a boy, young man and continue his education at the college level. When experiencing difficult situations, the students would seek out those that could, could assist him and always ignored negative influences. The student never succumbed to adversities that faced him and always verbalized the goals to graduate from high school. The student is a role model for peers. The student demonstrates perseverance in the face of adversity. Always a gentleman, I could say every morning, now I might be giving it away. I always look so forward to hearing, good morning, Miss Stern. Didn't matter what was going on or how tough the day was, this young man would always say, good morning, Miss Stern. So with that, I would like to award this gentleman, always a shining star in the classroom, in school activities, in the community, and in everything he does. Please give a round of applause to Mr. Marquis. speakers, but how do you describe somebody that in so many ways is indescribable? The student that you're about to hear from is truly a unique individual and has come to Cross Creek and I can honestly say has left his mark in such a positive way for so many. This young man is intelligent and an amazing young adult that has the determination and the will to be successful in whatever path he chooses. Dennis would often come to me with ideas, thoughts, suggestions, and he did inform me, which I just found out is on his cap, that he was the co-principal. <laughs> and with that came some wonderful ideas, perspectives, suggestions, often seen through the lens of the students, which is so important to remember that we are here for them. And more often than not, Dennis's ideas and suggestions were both very positive and helpful. Dennis and I had many conversations about different things, and I enjoyed speaking with him because no matter what, Dennis always did keep an open mind. I was fascinated how he would sit back and listen and reflect and try to make the best decision for a positive outcome. 
not always an easy thing to do. And I told Dennis that no matter what comes your way, stay the course. Whatever happens, stay the course. And Dennis did exactly that, so it is no surprise that he was selected by his peers and staff to address our senior class. So without further delay, I introduce to you my co-principal and dedicated <laughs> helper, Mr. Dennis Gianti. non-instructional staff ensuring that we got every credit and made up every available test or assignment when we fell behind. These individuals were practically bending over backwards yeah. for us and our success. Every single one of these students that are being celebrated today, we would not have gotten here without their never-ending support and by golly I wouldn't have wanted to. Yeah. Teachers and paras, your hard work will not go unnoticed on this very groundbreaking day for all seniors. <clears throat> Thank you for every bad day of mine <laughs> and all of ours that you have experienced in the process of trying to get us to this moment. Yeah. <laughs> Leadership and patience for this population is a tough job, no doubt, but you have all done it more than I could have imagined just for this rewarding result to see your projects that you have worked so hard on walk the stage today. Yeah. When trying to find a word to describe y'all's excellence, there is no other word than phenomenal. Wow. Absolutely phenomenal. Wow. As for our clinical staff, our therapists, who get the worst of us, <laughs> thank you for your patience and your understanding, but most importantly, never giving up on us and being an essential part of our growth. Yeah. Uh, thank you from all of the seniors here today. We love you from here to the moon and back. Thank you, Dennis. Our District 7 school board member and current chair, Mrs. Nora Rupert, is a former high school reading teacher and a mom of three children all who have attended public schools, and a tireless community and children's advocate. Mrs. Rupert was elected to the school board of Broward County in 2010 to serve District 7. She was selected as vice chair for 2016-2017 and selected as chair for 2017-18. She has served or is currently serving as the Broward County School Board representative on the National School Boards Association, on the Florida School Boards Association Board of Directors, as the State Legislative Liaison for the Broward School Board and the Youth Education and Scholarship Committees of the Broward League of Cities. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Nora Rubin to our board. Dennis, I'm 
going to look to see if you're going to change that because it's a co-board member. We'll talk. Um, I, before I begin my little, little talk here, I wanted to ask anybody in the audience who is uh, a veteran or an active military to please stand and be recognized. <coughs> Thank you for your service every day. I'd also like to thank staff and your administrators here, because I know what it takes to get through these days and to really break through and help our children. Um, I miss teaching as a reading teacher, because you have that immediate um, conversation with them, and you can see where things are going immediately. And I love these children because they don't have a BS um, in their body. They just give it to you real, and then you're able to deal with them. So, um, this is a little story about making the leap to greatness. Two students were asked to meet their teacher at the start of the track through the forest. He gave them instructions to follow the path to its conclusion in preparation for a test later in the week. The path had two sides. One was clear and smooth, and the other had fallen logs and other obstacles in their way. One student chose to avoid the obstacles, running around them and taking the easiest path to the end. He felt clever as he dodged through without hindrance. The second student chose carefully. He chose to tackle the obstacles, battling through every challenge in his path, facing it dead on. The student who chose the easy path finished first, of course, and <laughs> felt proud of himself. I'm glad that I chose to avoid the boulders and the logs. They were only there to slow me down, he thought to himself. The second student arrived exhausted, absolutely tired and regretting the path he had chosen. The teacher nodded and smiled at both of them. He requested that they join him in a specific location in three days. When they arrived, they could see that there was a ravine that was a few meters wide. The students looked at their teacher and he said just one word. Jump. The first student looked at the distance and his heart sank. The teacher looked at him. What's wrong? This is your leap to greatness. Everything that you have done till now have prepared you for this moment. The second student looked at the teacher and he smiled nervously. He now knew why the obstacles had been placed in his path. They were part of his preparation. He knew now that by choosing to overcome the challenges face on, not to avoid them, that he was ready to make that leap. He measured his run, he sprinted towards the ravine, he launched himself into the air, and he made it. If you too want to make the leap to greatness, you must first understand that life is meant to be a series of challenges that we overcome and not avoid. The messiness, difficult conversations, pray that you will have the strength to overcome them and then take the leap. Every one of you here today has taken that giant leap to greatness and I'm proud of every single one of you. Congratulations class of 2018. Make us proud. On behalf of the School Board of Broward County, Florida, I certify that these students have met all the requirements of the school board and the state of Florida yeah. for graduation from high school. Congratulations, class of 2018!
came on last year. Thank you. 